So I just finished the last conversation I'll be having with a guy that I went on one mediocre date with. Because he had the nerve to say the most fucking annoying thing that men say to women all the time. He said, you're so cool, like you're not like other girls. And I find nothing more disrespectful. Why do you think that like talking shit about the people that I love in this world the most is gonna make me want to hang out with you more? Like, what the fuck does that even mean? The thing that irritates me the most is I'm exactly like other girls. Like, I am so fucking basic. I like fall because it's by far the best season. I love anything from Starbucks because it's fucking delicious. I like shopping and reality TV. And more than anything else, I love my girlfriends. Like, other women are fucking incredible. My girl Kendall is funny and smart and beautiful. She has an incredible body and she's a doctor. My best friend Carrie is single-handed one of the coolest people I have ever met in my entire life. She's chill, she's laid back, she's hella educated, and she always has the best beer. My friend Alexis is the most compassionate, sweetest girl I have ever known in my entire life. She's the most loyal and loving person I've ever known. My girls Whitney and Sarah from back home are my real OGs, and I've celebrated more Christmases with them than I have my own family. So if those are other girls, you're absolutely right. I'm nothing like other girls because they're way fucking better than me. My placement with my friend group is that I'm the loud one with huge tits and health problems and who's always late. So for you to tell me that I'm not like other girls, I take that as a fucking insult. Disappointing. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And guys, before we jump into today's episode, don't forget to subscribe on your way in. And don't forget to subscribe to our newest member of Fiend Gang, Detective Warg. His channel will be linked in the video description. But without further ado, let's jump into the rest of today's video. My last boyfriend didn't work out and then i remember he's the same person who couldn't talk about shit and i don't mean like generalized stuff i mean actually like shitting yourself like sharding you couldn't even say the word poop without cringing and i'm the same person who has a brother an older brother with adhd who just randomly blurts all profanities out at all times and then a mother who's a nurse Something tells me this isn't about the type of language that the man wants to hear or say, and this is actually coming from a different set of issues. Have you guys ever noticed when women come on TikTok and they complain about their relationships, it's like they misdiagnose absolutely everything. Oh yeah, me and my last boyfriend, we broke up because, you know, our star signs just weren't compatible. Or one of my favorites, guys, when people have been in a marriage for a long period of time, when women describe the breakup, I hear this one all the time. They say crap like, oh, you know, we just kind of drifted apart or our goals weren't aligned or just, just the most miscellaneous, ambiguous crap of all time, which if you think about it for two seconds, doesn't really line up uh, at all. Everybody Poops was like a religious bedtime story for me. Like, shocker, surprise, I had a best friend in high school who used to show me pictures of her defecation because she had a fucking uh, shit doctor. I am the last person who you what? should expect to censor themselves around you, let alone about that word and that subject in particular. Are uh, you fucking joking? Grow up. We're Yeah, see, I don't think it has anything to do with the words. I think it's just because uh, you're incredibly masculine and it sounds like you're kind of annoying to deal with. You know, like it, it really is just not so much about what exactly you're saying. It's just that you're a pain in the ass. And if you can't be told to not talk about something that's just going to be annoying the dude, then why should he continue in a relationship with you? Like, I don't understand, but a lot of girls, they seem to think I can just be straight up annoying and men are going to continue to be interested in me or they're going to continue to want a relationship with me. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm being annoyed by someone every day or they're just doing like childish crap like this, I don't. I don't want to hear it. Like, men just get straight up tired of this crap. Like, yeah, it's cute for two seconds, but then it's like, oh, I have to spend time with this individual who's, like, causing issues out of me not wanting her to just say certain... Like, just shh, you know? Just be quiet, and maybe the man would stick around. So I just finished the last conversation I'll be having with a guy that I went on one mediocre date with. Because I'm going to say this as politely as I can, but I'm surprised that a man had one full conversation with you to begin with, given that you open up your TikTok video by screaming into the camera. Guys, I'm telling you, it is always, 
the women in their cars, right? Because I don't know, this must be the place that they just vent about men, right? Men won't take me seriously. This guy is not dating me. This guy's not giving me my ring. And they do all of their venting in their car on TikTok. It's actually amazing. Because he had the nerve to say the most fucking annoying thing that men say to women all the time. He said, you're so cool. Like, you're not like other girls. And I find nothing more disrespectful. I yeah, translation is she feels like she's the casual fling who won't get the commitment and she's like the cool girl. It, it's basically her translation in his mind is, oh, he just said that I have no boundaries. You think that like talking shit about the people that I love in this world the most is going to make me want to hang out with you more. I don't I don't think this man should be concerned with whether or not he's hanging out with you anymore or what exactly like this is the amazing thing to me guys if you say a sentence to a woman and she has like some sort of reaction like that that's on her like I honestly this dude for saying this sentence causing all this issue if I was the guy who said this and then you see this woman making this video it's like you, you'd sleep completely fine at night completely fine like, what the fuck does that even mean? The thing that irritates me the most is I'm exactly like other girls. Like, I am so fucking basic. I like fall because it's by far the best season. I love anything Not from true. Starbucks because it's fucking delicious. I like. I mean, it, it, she does. She's right, guys. I mean, she does sound like every other girl to me. She's uh, nailing it all on the head here. But uh, again, guys, just screaming in the car because a man said that you were cool and you weren't like other women. Right? What what on earth are we living in, man? Like shopping and reality TV. And more than anything else, I love my girlfriends. Like other women are fucking incredible. My girl Kendall is funny and smart and beautiful. She has an incredible body and she's a doctor. Guys, I'm going to say this, okay? These girls who run around, they're like, oh, yes, I'm best friends with every girl and I, I love every girl and here's my bestie. It's like these girls are the most deceitful to their friends that I have ever seen. You know, it's like always those girls who say that they're best friends with each other and they love all women, but they just backstab one another. I get those exact same vibes about this woman right here. My best friend Carrie is single-handedly one of the coolest people I have ever met in my entire life. She's chill, she's laid back, she's hella educated, and she always has uh... the best beer. My friend Alexis is the most compassionate, sweetest girl I have ever known in my entire life. She's. I'm, I'm just pausing the video here, not because I have anything to say, but just because I need her to stop yelling at me for a second. Um, I can't imagine why th this man would continue to go on a date with this woman, by the way, guys. Like, uh, hopefully she gets on in a second here and says that the man didn't want anything else to do with her. But this woman is just straight up losing her mind over the fact that a man called her cool. Like, r like really, she's... Think about that, guys. She's screaming in her car as if he's committed some crime against all women because he said that she's cool and she's not like other women. She's the most loyal and loving person I've ever known. My girls Whitney and Sarah from back home are my real OGs, and I've celebrated more Christmases with them than I have my own family. So if those are other girls. You're absolutely right. I'm nothing like other girls because they're way fucking better than me. My placement with my friend group is that I'm the loud one with huge tits and health problems and who's always late. So for you to tell me that I'm not like other girls, I take that as a fucking insult. Disappointing. And this is why, this is like a prime example, by the way, of why you just don't say anything. Like, the same women who are complaining about men having communica communication issues are the same ones who sit in their car screaming about crap like this. So if a man can't call you cool and say that you're not like other girls, you know, maybe try and give you a bit of a compliment or say that you're a nice casual girl or however that translates in your brain, men can't say these sentences because you're going to lose your mind. It's like, why would men even bother to communicate with you at all? You know, like, why would men go out here and say, you know what, I'm going to spend some time out of my peaceful day, out of my work, whatever it may be, to come and sit down and to have a date with this woman? Uh, the answer is just absolutely not. Yo, guys, it's Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's episode. Before you go, remember to subscribe to our other Fiend Gang members. Their channels will be linked in the video description. Our newest member is Detective Warg, so make sure that you go and show him some love. He's putting out daily content for you guys. 
also one of the characters I use and also a lot of our thumbnail artwork is done by an artist called The Gecko Ninja. He's absolutely fantastic and his socials are going to be linked in the video description as well if you want to commission him for some amazing art. Otherwise, take it easy, gents, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.